stay fuzzy, and save the world. Choices. Juice, come on. There. Shot out again. Crap. Oh no. Dude. All right. That was a pretty cool shot. I need to heal. Can I please get some green eco? Please. Oh, God. Power. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, quick. Jesus, no! I'm like, uh, it's almost like the blast last. The, the charge for the blast uh, takes longer the more damage you do to them, so it's harder to predict exactly when they're gonna throw it. Right 
gotta wait. Alright, here we go again. Crap, I can't see! No, I did not. Mm. Now I've only got two hits left again. And I don't even know if the last part here is the actual last part or not. It may not be. We may be nowhere near the end of this fight. What's happening now? You just won't give up. Wait a minute. Oh! What's this? Alright then. The decision has been made. What the? Right, there it is. Oh, we got it! They destroyed? Wait, that was them. We win. <laughs> A duo dance. Well, it looks like I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, none of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Uh, probably. Ah, who cares? Probably. On, we can take them again. Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Whoa. Put it on ice, big guy. 
There it is. Jack and Dexter. <laughs> that was an interesting game. Yeah, I picked this game up. I actually picked up the entire Jack trilogy for the PS2, like, a long time ago. Uh, went to a Walmart, and there was a big, like, Black Friday sale. I picked them up for, like, $4 a piece. Jack 1, 2, and 3. There they were. Right there. Amazing find, to be honest. Uh, but yeah. I remember more of this game than I thought I did the more I played through it. I think I got further in it than I originally remembered. But I never did beat it. At least that, that part, I'm pretty sure I never actually finished the game. But now I have. But, uh, yeah. This is cute. Uh, it's interesting that, uh... Dee Snyder, really? Okay. Uh... Anyway, uh, it's interesting the way that some of these older, like, platformers, Kevin Conroy, wow, I would have never guessed that, uh, it's interesting that the way, like, Jack has, like, a double jump, I can't remember too many, like, platforming games where you do get a double jump, you know, that's, you know, it's sort of a, like, Mario, when you think about Mario, Mario never really gets a double jump in any of his games. Outside of Smash. Like, Mario's whole thing is you get momentum, the momentum, or you get like a triple jump. Or you get, or you just jump higher the more momentum you have. But, um, anyway, that, that's interesting. But yeah, this, this game was always kind of cool to me. And the art style, I like the way the characters look. I, I love when, like, a game has, like, cartoony designs. But, um... Of course... Uh... Jack is very silent in this game. Daxter does all of the talking. Uh... Surely... When we move on to Jack 2, that won't change at all! Surely, if they... I would never do something like that, like take the silent protagonist and actually have him, uh, uh give him a, uh, more fleshed out personality. But, uh, that is a conversation for another day. Uh, I don't know how long these credits are, so I guess I'll go ahead and start the sign off. But, uh, this was fun to play through. It was fun to actually finally beat this game after all these years. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play it. And I would ask now that you like and subscribe to the channel, if you would. Maybe become a member of the channel. Maybe uh, donate to the channel through Kofi. Uh, let me know what you guys liked about this playthrough. I'm assuming, I will check that out while we're signing off here, that there is no post-game anything, as far as I can uh, guess. But, um, yeah. I guess, uh... I guess that's the end of it. Because I don't see anything else. But, uh, I will double check that as after the credits roll. And, uh... Kind of crapping out on what to say. I'm just kind of glad it's over. But yeah, a collect-a-thon game. These are fun. Uh, it, it's, it is just a shorter game than I was expecting for a PlayStation 2 game. I would figured this would be longer, but maybe it's just because, like, when I think of PlayStation 2, I primarily think of, for me, is like all the Dragon Ball games, the fighting, which are fighting games, uh, the WWE games, which were essentially fighting games or wrestling games. So there weren't like really big stories or anything that would have been long. The only other game that comes to mind that I can think of would be like Final Fantasy X. That was a pretty long game. So that may be where I'm getting that comparison from. But yeah. But 
there really weren't that many different enemy types either. either. I guess this was just uh, an attempt to try to launch this as a, you know, a series to try to get something new. Like, hey, can we create something that's not like other stuff that's out there, other platformers? And I actually would have, uh, I would have actually been on board with them putting Jack and Daxter in Smash. I think that the series, as it went on, had a lasting impression that people wanted to see more of it. From what I understand, there was a uh, Jack 4 planned and Naughty Dog abandoned it or something. I, I don't know what happened to it. But there were at least talks to do another Jack and Daxter game. Or Jack game, because they dropped the Daxter from it after this one. But, um... Uh... Yeah, but I would have been fine with putting Jack in, uh... Uh, putting these guys in Smash. I think it would have been cool. A character that's... Because in a little bit of a way, Jack is kind of like Link. At least in this game, you can see the comparisons. But after this game, he kind of becomes... He's nothing like Link in my opinion. But anyway, here we go. Holy yakko! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Oh boy, here we go again! What? <laughs> so this door won't open unless we get the remaining power cells, which there are 16 of. As best as I can tell. Uh, they don't really reveal what's behind this gate. In the, uh, if you do 100% this, it's a very short cutscene that shows them something. Apparently it's related, it, it, it's, it's something tied to the second game, but they don't actually show it. So, it's literally like a five second cutscene that gives you no new information. So, I'm going to skip that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, if it would actually reveal something, then maybe. But, that's not the case. So, that's going to be it for our run of Jack and Daxter. We've got, what, 84% of the power cells? That's pretty good, I think. So, I'm never, like, super big on 100%ing these games anyway, so whatever. But, uh, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I already said all that stuff before, so I'm not going to repeat it all again. But thanks again for watching, and I always appreciate you guys who do tune in. And I hope you will come back, because we're definitely going to go to Jack 2, which is going to shake things up. If you don't know about what happens in the Jack series after this first game, then you're in for a treat. But anyway, not going to talk about it anymore, because we will be back to play that game at some point. Until then, we'll see you later.